and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we will look at how you do a power wash on a Chromebook or a Chromebox. Uh, power wash is useful for two reasons. If there's an issue with your Chromebook and you just can't fix it and you think that you know it needs to be reset to its factory settings, that's exactly one of the reasons why you would use a power wash. Um, if you've upgraded to a different channel, perhaps, and you want to get your current book back to the original settings, a power wash is great for that as well. Uh, one of the other main reasons for doing a power wash is if you're looking to sell your Chromebook because you want to upgrade to a newer model, perhaps, and you want to get a bit of extra money by selling it on eBay, you definitely want to do a power wash before doing that because then at least when the person you sell your Chromebook to um, gets the device, they won't have access to any of your data. So it's absolutely essential to do if you're looking to sell your Chromebook to someone else. Um, one thing to bear in mind, when you do a power wash, it will remove all of the users from the Chromebook and it will remove all of the data from the Chromebook. It would be essentially exactly how it was when you originally bought the Chromebook. So if you have got any data, you need to back that up first. That's essential. So from the desktop, if you click at the bottom right and then click on settings and then from the settings, if you click on advanced here and then you'll see a few options, you want to click on reset settings. With the menu, there's always different ways of doing this. So I went to advanced there. You could scroll down here. And you'll see there's an advanced tab there. You can click on that advanced tab, scroll down, and that also shows where you need to be. So there's a few different ways to navigate the menu, but you want to go to reset settings and you'll see here, power wash, remove all user accounts and reset your Google Chrome device to just be like new. Now you click on the reset button. And if you want to go ahead with a power wash, you just click restart. And that's all you need to do. When that's happened and it's restarted, obviously I'm not going to do it on my Chromebook right now, but when you've done that, um, it will come up just as it did um, from new. You would have to type in your Google account, account again from scratch and take it from there. You've got a brand new Chromebook. Hopefully if you did it because there's any problems, that's all been resolved. Or if you're looking to sell your Chromebook, yeah, have a look to make sure it's work by turning it on to see if it's asking you for some um id information if it is you can turn it back off wrap it up and send it to whoever you sold your chromebook to